September 8, 2020, golden russet on G41, planted in 2017. Man, I the more I watch this tree grow, the less I like it. It just is not a nice looking tree. And I know I already talked about this in the spring, but come on, man, look at all those lanky dead wood flopping over, gonna get hit with a mower and herbicide branches. Come on now. However, in all fairness, the apple tastes pretty darn good. Well, let's see if we can show some of the trials and tribulations of doing maturity testing in the field for the first time with definitely not the right tools. <laughs> I am trying to juice these little obstinate apples like they were oranges. Look at this. We're going to get these five apples cut in half. This is still the golden russet that we're trying to get a baseline on here. And maybe, you know what would be great? would be if I had a knife with like a little channel in it and then the juice would just run down there and fill up my little refractometer well and I wouldn't have to sit here and squeeze these stinking things to no avail. <laughs> to no actual avail. I'd like to use the bottom half, not for any particular reason, just because that's how I like to do things, you know. Okay, again, so still golden russet, no water core on these, which is nice. I'm gonna spray it with my little iodine solution here. And then while we wait for that, I am gonna go and see if I can't get a bricks reading on the other halves. All right, this has got to be one of the most absurd things I have ever done in my entire life. I mean, um, well, yeah, yeah, for sure. Most absurd. Totally. Never done anything weirder than tried to squeeze juice ouch, out of a flippin' obstinate apple into this tiny little well just so I could get that blasted drop out of it. See, this is the other thing I was doing. Guess what doesn't work? <laughs> so again, any of you people out there watching with a sense of torture as I do this, if you have suggestions or a particular device that would give me what I need without me losing my mind here, then, you know, I'm totally open to you dropping that comment into the section down below the video and I will see if I can't procure myself a device that would be more useful than that. Okay, now that we've got it in there, let's see what we get. Wait for it. Whoa, 16. All right. Okay, the bricks was at 16 and let's see, our starch index is pretty broad. Uh, let's see, we've got anywhere from like zero to Right here is a zero, yeah? And then over here you've got like a six or a seven. Um, and 16 really isn't quite as high as we want the bricks to be. So most of these are in the one to two range. These are not ready yet. 